coming up next, a very special video. This is my 1000th video that I've created in the last approximately three years since I started my channel. Huge milestone. And to celebrate that today, I'm going to do a list naming my top five fragrances of all time. This is a great video. This is pause or cause for celebration. Thank you guys. I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Welcome back everybody to Joel the Nose. And what else can I say other than thank you humbly from the bottom of my heart if you're watching this video and for all you have supported me. I started my channel, Joel the Nose, a little over three years ago, approximately three years ago, uh, almost exactly. And when I started this, I had no idea, to be honest, with you, to be honest what this was gonna lead to. And this has become such a passion and a hobby for me. It's led me to travel. It's led me to meet all kinds of interesting people from subscribers to perfumers to perfume companies to executives to being involved in the industry on different avenues and being involved and in, in learning how to make perfumes and train with a perfumer uh, you know, that was trained in Grass France. I mean, there's just been an amazing, an amazing experience, one of the best of my life. And I can't wait for the next three years and the next 1,000 videos that are going to come forward. But today's video celebrates that. And again, I want to thank everybody for watching me, sticking with me. Some of you, you know who you are, have been with me right from the very beginning when I was struggling to get to 50 videos or subscribers, 100 subscribers. I mean, this was something that it took a long time and I'm almost now around, you know, uh, just under 15,000 subscribers. So it's been growing at a nice steady clip. And uh, of course, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications because I love for more people to get the content that I'm producing. But I'm just so excited because a thousand videos. I mean, I, I don't think I've ever produced a thousand of anything. I mean, just think about that. Sitting down and taking the time over three years to think about, to plan, to shoot, to edit, to upload, to thumbnails, to all the st stuff that goes into it. You know, that's over roughly 300 videos a year. You know, it's over 300 videos a year. Think about that. There's 365 days. So I'm doing for a long time, almost a video a day. Now I do to keep it more manageable. I do usually three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday typically. But without further ado, let's get into I think why you guys want to see this video. My top five fragrances of all time. And I'm going to come in with an honorable mention. At honorable mention, technically number six would be Mandala from Mosque Milano. Every time I pick this up after having not worn it in a while, I remember what a masterpiece fragrance this is. This is, and my nose is a little, by the way, still stuffed up because I've had this kind of nasty cold. I'm finally getting over it, but I'm still congested. So this is one of the most green, bright fragrances that you'll ever smell. It's just got a, it's got a twang to it. It's got something that just is biting. It just grabs you. It's like, it's like got teeth that just kind of sticks into you and just, oh, it lifts me up. It gives me energy, uh, whether it's from the, the green, the ginger, it's just, it's, it's invigorating, it's effervescent. I've had it for a long time. And whenever I forget to, forget to wear it, I put it on and it just, it lifts my spirits. So that's coming in honorable mention. Coming in number five, this is a newcomer because last time I've done a video like this, uh, you know, it was probably well over a year ago. And that is from Therapia by Aroma Shepra. I've talked a lot about this one in the last few months. Sheeper to me is just the classic. Uh, let me just spray it on a, on a. Oh, it's so <laughs> Irene. She can create such masterpieces, and everything is handcrafted by the indie perfumer Irene from Therapia by Aroma. If I love Sheeper, is probably my favorite classic classification of fragrance. Uh, I love that kind of oak moss 
That's typically when you have a sheep or you're gonna have an oak moss base. It's got a nice citrusy opening that's light, it's crisp, it's fresh. This is a great all day fragrance. It's a great fragrance to wear on any occasion, but that sheep base with that oak moss is just, to me, again, probably my favorite classification when it comes to fragrances is the sheep or based. All right, that was number five. Coming in number four, this may be a newcomer also, from Fragrance Dubois, this is New York Intense. I gotta have, for, for me, a fragrance in here that relates to the 80s. This, although it came out in the last few years, is not an 80s fragrance. To me, encapsulates that classic power masculine fragrance of the 80s. This is got everything you need. It's, it's just a real mix of woodiness and sexiness and muskiness and deliciousness. And it really is, you know, it's supposed to be basically the smell of New York in the summer. They really, really did a great job of kind of grabbing that sense. I picture myself, myself being in New York in the 1980s right? Kind of during that crazy time coming out of the 70s with the disco era, era into the 80s where it was like, you know, the Reagan, you know, greed, greed is good, Wall Street, that just kind of mash up between the cultures. This is great. I love this one for dates. It's again, very masculine to me on my skin. I get eight to 10 hours. It projects well, and it's very unique smelling. Love it in my top five all time. Coming in number three, one of the first fragrances I ever bought, talked about it a lot, from Orman Jane. This is Zizong. Zizong no longer distributed here in the United States. It was one of those COVID casualties when companies kind of uh, cut back on what they were distributing worldwide. You could probably still find it some, you know, discount sites, but it is to me, again, a little bit of an ode to the 80s, 70s. So this one's kind of has that similar vibe, but this is incredibly sexy vetiver green fragrance. Green fragrances are also one of my favorite genres. Green Sheepra fragrances particular. I love that green opening with that oak moss base. This has got that vetiver. This fits right into that range. Uh, again, green biting. It's got that kind of biting quality that just nips at you and, and, and energizes you and just a masterpiece Zizon is. Uh, this is my third bottle of it and I will have to be getting a new one soon. Probably have to find it somewhere online because it's just too good not to have in my collection forever. All right, down to the top two. My number two fragrance all time is another one of the first ones that I ever bought uh, as far as the niche world goes. When I said Zizan is one of my first fragrances I ever bought, I meant in the niche fragrance world. This is, of course, Udin from Serzhov. I did a video, uh, I don't know, maybe almost a year ago where I said, what is the one fragrance that I would take for a lifetime if I could only have one fragrance? I picked Udin and it, it is just the most universal fragrance. It's got this citrusy grapefruit opening. It's got coffee in here. It's just, when you look at the note breakdown, it's powdery, fresh, kind of has that Chanel-like quality, almost like an egoist type quality, if you like that, that type of fragrance uh, from Chanel. Uh, powerhouse, 10 plus hours, great in any situation, date night to work, to office, to home, to just chilling on a Saturday, chilling in your house before you go to bed, this fragrance is a compliment beast. Uh, when I wear it on dates, it's always performed well for me. So it's always in my top five rotation as far as date fragrances go. Udin from Serzhov, there's not much else I can say that I haven't already said before. That leads me to my number one. This was tough. Any of these could have really been number one, to be honest. But, you know, these lists are fun to try to pick and narrow something down. I know a lot of you are probably gonna guess what's my number one. I'm sure a lot of you probably know that would be Desired from Ellisire. This little gold bottle is like liquid gold. The bottle perfectly matches the fragrance. It is liquid gold. It is saffron, it's oud, it's, it's sweet, it's sexy, 
It's great unisex men, men or women, but hands down, my number one most comp complimented fragrance. And I got a lot. You know, they're, they're, all these are very well complimented. Um, but this, you know, there's many more in my collection I, I talk about all the time. But this one is when you combine the overall uniqueness of the scent, the projection and longevity, so the performance of the scent. I get 12 to 15 hours, no lie, on my skin. 12 to 15 hours lasting and projection, over eight hours of just projection. Uh, it, you know, granted, it's only 30 milliliters. It's an extrait. So the others were Eau de Parfums. This is an extrait. So it's a little more expensive. I think around 160 or so, $150 for 30 mLs, but it's worth it. You don't need to spray a lot. For those of you who are worried about overspraying, I still put eight to 10 sprays. You could do three to four to five, and this is gonna last you all day. It just is, it's perfection. This is perfection in a bottle. Desired to me is one of these really great classic perfumes that should be in everybody's collection. All these bottles should, but that one I would have to say is probably my favorite of all time. Again, guys, thank you for watching. I dressed up today, as you can see, because I wanted to do respect not only to my top five favorite perfumes of all time, but also to you guys watching. I could not be doing my thousandth video, my number 1,000th video, if it wasn't for my subscribers, uh, the people who enjoy this community, the people who have built this community. And hey, I'm gonna see you guys at Scent Explore in a couple weeks. For those of you that are going in person, let's meet up, let's hang out, let's talk. I can't wait. If you're going online, hopefully you'll see me. I'll be one of the uh, content creators on one of the panels and uh, looking forward to it, guys. Here's to the next 1,000 videos. Ah, keep it real, guys. What else can I say? Peace, love, and perfume.